today I wanted to talk about how I travel light with my everyday gear so I'll lay a few things out and talk about what I like to carry and what I do with them um, when I go out for short photo walks so first up is my Coleman camera bag I bought this from a shop called Katsumiro which is in Ginza in Tokyo I was there when I was traveling um, they had so many cool camera bags that were not your usual brands like Billingham or Peak Design so I had a really hard time picking the one that I really liked but I picked this because it was fully water resistant and it was also a throwback to my childhood we had family BBQs when I was a kid basically all the outdoor BBQ gear was Coleman from chili bins, uh, foldable chairs and tin cups it always came across as a really reliable and kind of friendly brand to me and I really like the colorway and the protection it gives me for my camera two zips is always useful because you can reach it from both sides it's got some nice internal compartments for me to put everything in there and on the rear of course there's my camera and a little bit of extra space enough padding in there if I didn't find this I would have probably opted for a Dom K equivalent but I'm really happy with this so far so inside the bag um, the most important part of course is my Leica M8 this is my trusty everyday camera at the moment it's compact enough to be swung around the neck with the neck strap although I've been carrying it without a strap these days because it just gives me more opportunity to capture the moments um, it's heavy enough to feel like a real camera and I can't stop talking enough about how much I like this camera it is almost fully manual I love its tactile controls and the tonality of its images that shutter sound is great and it's already been about half a year owning this camera and I haven't really had a major problem with it the rangefinder did get sticky at one point but Leica Frankfurt which is where I bought it from they were happy to fix it under warranty so it was away for about three weeks and when they sent it back they gave me an extra battery and a little gift so um, that's kind of been a satisfactory part of the experience of owning this camera next I need to talk about my choice of lens on this camera here so after reading many reviews online including this really incredible article thank you very much bought this secondhand Carl Zeiss Biogon 25mm 2.8 lens on eBay many of the Zeiss mount is known to have that 3D pop this means having a very good range of micro contrast which um, enables the lens to produce a very lifelike image this was also one of the primary reasons that I came back to the Leica M systems after selling my old Leica M9 last year because I was really missing the almost medium format-esque results under the correct light or through the black and white JPEG images my feedback on the handling of this lens is really excellent I can see that the previous owner has given it a lot of love because you can see the sign of aging here but it still performs extremely well for me there's a bit of brassing going on there which actually kind of adds to the patina of the lens that will be eventually seen on the camera as well as I use it the focus ring movement is really smooth and there's a little knob here so you can put your finger on there to adjust your distance 
when you're shooting from the hip. Although I do find the traditional Leica tab a little bit more intuitive to use. The aperture ring goes up in a third stop increments, which is kind of odd because I'm more used to half stop increments. And it's got a nice promising click without too much resistance. This lens is almost 35 millimeter equivalent on a Leica MA as the sensor is 1.3 times crop. This focal length is really perfect for me. I can't really ask for more because it is wide enough for me to layer my images in the street photography situation with enough room for the foreground, middle ground and the far ground. I have actually owned a Leica Elmer at 28mm in the past with my Leica M9 and although it was really fun to shoot with, I did find it a little bit challenging because I consider myself a hunter in street photography and this spontaneous nature of street photography composing a wide angle lens was a little bit more tricky. I find the 35mm to be a better fit for me. I've got a Leica E46 UV and IR cut filter on here. If you've done the research you would already know one of the major weaknesses of this camera is that it lets in IR rays through the sensor and by attaching one of these filters on the lens it'll mean that you get true blacks through your color images it also acts as a protection for the lens because i don't like using the lens cap i also have my wallet my notebook a calico pen my sd card reader so this comes in really handy if you use an Apple iPhone because you can get a Lightroom app on your phone. Being an old camera, the Leica M8 doesn't have a Wi-Fi capability so you can just use the SD card reader and I shoot both JPEG and DNG but the Lightroom will recognize the DNG format if you want to tweak the JPEGs, you can use the ViscoCam app. 3 extra batteries. Being 14 years old, the camera doesn't do too well in terms of battery life. Although it's still pretty expensive, I do recommend that you get one of these Leica M9 or Leica ME lithium batteries. Some glass case and a bag of crisps. So that's about it really. I hope this answers some of your questions. I'm thinking of doing a two or three day trip setup video as well. So if you would like to watch that, then please leave a comment below. It'll probably have a slightly different setup to what I've got here. Yeah, leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed my video and found it informative. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.